Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another small ship, and this one is called the Vespucci Explorer, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a ship that uses the vector thrust script to allow its thrusters to turn on a rotor whenever you try and move forwards or backwards, but I'll show you that a bit later on. So pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is. The Explorer is 828 large blocks using the decorative block number 2 and the decorative block number 1 DLC packs. It has no mods, but of course it does use scripts. So what we're going to do is take a quick look around the outside and then we're going to fly it around and I'll show off what the vector thrust script does. So coming all the way around to the front, this is what we get. So at the very front here, we can see we've got ourselves a control seat, and just in front of that, we've got some bulletproof glass. Surrounding our control seat, we've got some grey and white blocks, which is going to be the main pattern on this ship. As we go all the way around to the side, we can see we've got some lovely block work, and two more windows right there which lead across to our bed and our recreation area. Just below here, we've got a catwalk which comes all the way across, and I seem to be able to control the door from here. How about that? Yes, that catwalk is how we're going to get in and out of the ship, and we'll lead all the way up and around. As we turn the camera around, we can see our thruster pods there, which all sit on a rotor, which is how the vector thrust script is going to function. Just below the ship, we can see we've got plenty of landing gears to make sure that if we were to lose one, it's not the end of the world. But as for our thruster pods, there are simply some armored blocks surrounding some hydrogen thrusters, with a rotor that connects them onto the main body of the ship like so. Hydrogen thrusters are the only form of thrust that appear on this ship, so we are good for pretty much everywhere. Yes, as we move along we can see our main thruster here at the back there, which is still a vector thrust, and the hydrogen tank sits just in front of it on the main body of the ship. That hydrogen tank is a little bit exposed, but it's not too bad in the grand scheme of things. If we come down and start to move all the way to the back of the ship, we can see another landing gear, some more thrusters to help us manoeuvre, and as we go all the way around to the back, we then got an antenna, and we can see a jump drive just hiding behind those blocks right there. We get a better look over here, there's the jump drive, there's the little blocks in a nice pattern, and just below here, we've got ourselves a half block with a small orange glowing light. Then as we come all the way up and above the ship, that is what it looks like, we've got a blast door part holding the antenna onto the main body, then moving all the way across over to here, we can see our hydrogen tanks, more hydrogen thrusters, some very sneaky areas for a sneaky so-and-so to hide and sabotage your ship. We can come all the way up, continue along to the front, where we have a Gatling gun. Then as we come all the way down and underneath, I have to put my light back on, this is where our catwalks go into the ship. We can see the bottoms of our landing gear, a connector to recharge ourselves on, and some more orange lights. And that's a very, very brief outside of this ship. I might be rushing a little bit, that's because I don't have too much time. Because of the whole coronavirus thing, I had to work a double time on my actual job. But anyway, now I need to get into my character, and we go ahead and head on inside. So dropping all the way down, coming across to this catwalk here, now clamp ourselves down, and open up the door. We get to one single door, and then we're instantly greeted by a elevator right here, which we can just hop onto, and then, whoop, oh god, there's no gravity generator on this, so we are a bit wonky. Let me just try and find my feet. There we go. We can hit this button, and then we very smoothly come up into the main body of the ship, but we're greeted by a secondary door. Looking up, we can't see too much, but we can see a window here with some lights on the left and the right. So just dropping down and trying to clamp my feet to the ground again, opening up this door, coming inside. This is the main portion of our ship. We've got our lovely wooden beds, we've got a medical bay up there, an air vent to make sure we don't suffocate. Around here we've got a little shower and a cargo container. Turning all the way around, then coming to this side, we've got a wooden desk, wooden planter, and then a chemical station right here for you to do your nefarious experiments. And then turning around, Coming over to the opposite side, we then have a passageway that leads all the way around to a small armory locker. And then coming back around all the way through here, I think that was where we came in from. Can't remember, yes it was, that's the elevator door. We then come up these stairs over here, 
which will take us to our cockpit, like so. So in our control seat we don't have many options, the first four are for our vector thrust and the final one is for our jump drive where we can jump 2000 kilometers. So as for the first four buttons, we only need to worry about the first one, which is to switch them all on. So now that they're switched on, when we move forwards, they activate and they'll start to turn and rotate with how we're flying. So if we want to go down, we want to go up, they'll rotate. If we want to go forwards, they'll turn forwards and allow us to boost. It's very good stuff. I use this script quite a lot by myself because it is a lot of fun, especially on the starting drop pod. If you can get some atmospheric thrusters on rotors, you can get a very crafty little ship quite early on in the survival. But with that all done and out of the way, let's go for a thruster test. So going forwards, this is what we get. All the thrusters tilt backwards and we start to boost forwards at a reasonable speed. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but for a vector thrust ship, it's very, very good. And then stopping, we are exceptionally fast, which is fantastic stuff. So we're going to come all the way to a stop. Then we're going to go left. Then we're going to go right. We are pretty fast with that. Going down, we're quite good. And going up, we're also quite good. And then moving my mouse around, we got one hell of a lot of weight on this. Could be useful to throw on one or two more gyroscopes. But then again, it is quite a big ship. And having some weight onto the controls does make it feel a lot more meatier. That is it for the Vespucci Explorer. It's a lovely little ship for you to download and play around with. Perhaps get familiar with the Vector Thrust script because you can do some great stuff with it. So it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do. And I'll hopefully be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.